In this video, I'm going to be cleaning up and protecting this A class using some products that have previously been sent for review. So I'll be giving you my honest thoughts on them as usual throughout this video. The first thing that I did was pre-wash the wheels with a 10% mixture of Green Star in the IK sprayer. So the three chemicals that I used to contact clean the alloys and the tyres were Yum Undress Tyre Cleaner, Strana Gloss Huel which is a colour changing wheel cleaner and I also popped a little bit of the Fresso shampoo into my wheel bucket to add some lubrication to the mitt and the brushes which is the same shampoo that I'll be using later in the contact wash. Strana Gloss Huel did a really good job at lifting a lot of the bakes on brake dust, the only area where it particularly struggled was inside the barrel of the wheel where realistically I do think the wheels would have needed to come off the car and be treated with acid. Yum Undress did a great job at drawing out a lot of that dirt and grime from the tyres. Usually I only go for one hit with this product but I did give it a second hit after I'd rinsed the wheels down just to check that the foam was white as these tyres were quite dirty. Once I'd dealt with the wheels, I then moved on to pre-washing the car, again using that 10% mix of Green Star. I've used this chemical as a pre-wash many, many times before and it's never let me down and has always been able to remove quite a considerable amount of traffic film on unprotected cars, so it's one that I can really rely on. Sticking with the brand here, I went for GSF, which is a pH neutral snow foam, and layered that on top of the car after I had allowed Green Star to dwell for a few minutes on its own. Being a pH neutral snow foam, it really doesn't have that much kick to it on its own, so I really only use it to pre-wash cars that are dusty rather than particularly dirty, or as I'm doing here, to extend the dwell time of the pre-wash underneath. For the contact wash, as I mentioned earlier, I went with the Fresso shampoo and I find that about 50ml to my 20 litre buckets is about right here. First things first, this shampoo smells absolutely fantastic and it's the first thing that I notice every time I use it. It's also very nice and sudsy and has a really good amount of slickness too, so it does tick all the main boxes for me. 
I think it could possibly be a little bit more economical. 50 mil isn't a tiny amount to use. I do have some shampoos where we only need about 25 mil, but otherwise I think it's a really great product. On the more intricate areas, I did use a couple of detailing brushes topped up with, again, that green star to give those areas a proper clean. After rinsing down the car, I then went ahead and protected the wheels using Strana Gloss Glatt, which is a spray and rinse sealant that from my experience typically lasts around a month on alloys, but the main benefit of using it is that it's just really quick to apply. This should help to prevent the brake dust sticking as much to the alloy in future and hopefully make it a little bit easier to clean next time. I then went in with the Blow Air RS car dryer and blasted water out of the grille, mirrors, headlights and also the wheels that were quite easy to dry as they did have that protection on them. And I then mopped up the rest of the water using the Rag Company gauntlet microfiber towel. In order to protect this car today, I went for a Hydropel, which is a spray sealant by a company called Super Polish Pro. I've had this product for quite a long time and I've used quite a lot of the bottle of it, but it's just not something I've had the opportunity to show on YouTube until now. Now it is quite rare that I use most of the bottle of a spray sealant, as I am fortunate and have quite a lot in my collection, but it does go to show that I think it's a good product as I have continued to reach for it. One of the main reasons I really like using it is because it's just so fuss free to apply. I can apply it using a single microfiber towel, just spread it on the panel and flip it and then buff until it flashes away but to be honest it kind of just flashes away on its own if you don't do that and it doesn't leave any streaks or smears. The water behaviour is really solid and I've found from my experience around two to three months on a daily driven car that hasn't been prepared using any kind of decontamination methods is pretty realistic for me at least. I just think this is a really solid all-round product and I haven't really heard many people talking about this brand so if you are looking for something a little bit different to try then maybe add this one to your list. The tyre dressing of choice today was Deterna's Creamy Tyre Dressing and I really like this one for the fact that it leaves a very very nice satin finish that's not sort of too glossy or showy and doesn't detract from the paintwork. Durability wise when I've tried this product previously it didn't absolutely blow me away but it does last long enough to get through to the next wash if that's just a couple of weeks later.